Well, it's an honor today to read this resolution proclaiming Saturday, June 17th, 2023 is Juneteenth Day in the County of San Luis Obispo. And whereas since 1865, the American celebration known as Juneteenth has historically been observed at, as the end of the institution of slavery in our great nation, and whereas Juneteenth embodies the indomitable human spirit of the past, the present, and all time, and whereas the celebration of Juneteenth gives us all the opportunity to rededicate ourselves to the true American spirit for a more perfect union, and whereas we are citizens who wish to secure the blessings of freedom, justice, and equality for all in this great country of ours, and whereas the collaboration of community-based organizations, faith-based organizations, local businesses, and local government demonstrates a shared commitment to being part of the solution and acknowledge the importance of strength through unity. Now therefore be it resolved and ordered that the Board of Supervisors of the County of San Luis Obispo State of California does hereby proclaim the third Saturday in June as Juneteenth Day and recommends all citizens of the County of San Luis Obispo to join in recognizing the importance of this day. Well, thank you for um, recognizing Juneteenth. And uh, we're excited to accept this uh, proclamation on behalf of our entire membership, um, the NAACP for San Luis Obispo County. Um, this means a lot to me because it speaks about freedom and liberation, and our theme this year is, is human liberation. And um, growing up as a, a black woman or black child in this country hasn't always been easy. And in this county, I, most of my life I've spent in this county. And um, it hasn't always been easy. And so we appreciate you recognizing the, um, ending of slavery and um, after sitting here today and listening to all the conversations about racism and all that, it just has stirred up lots of emotions. And um, I wish I would have been here on, on time to be able to, to speak on um, the incident um, in Templeton because I really feel that it's something that should be talked about, not forgotten, and um, I, every day I, when I go out, I, I fear that so I'm gonna be, be pulled over or something could happen, okay? And you know, I've, people have told me, well, oh, nothing's gonna happen to you, Cheryl. Well. That's not true. I have gotten pulled over, okay? I've been uh, racially profiled. So, um, and I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about that, but I do wanna thank you for this. And uh, we have a great celebration um, that's happening on June the 17th. Uh, we're celebrating two days this year, and uh, the 17th will be in Mission Plaza. We have a great lineup of speakers, um, and uh, Dante Marsh and the Vibe Setters will be playing. Um, Mo Better Jazz also will be playing with Deborah Gilmore um, on vocals, and the legendary House of Prayer uh, choir will be singing as well. And we have some great speakers, so please go to our website, uh, JuneteenthSlow.com, and look up the lineup. Purchase your tickets for our soul food dinner. We have a vegetarian option as well. Um, so please, you know, come out and join us as we celebrate um, the, our Independence Day. Thank you. Any comments from the board? Supervisor Gibson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I look forward to celebrating Juneteenth. I just want to add one little piece about the day itself, which is, I think many of you know, the day in 1865 that news of the Emancipation Proclamation reached Galveston, Texas. 
two and a half years after it was proclaimed in January of 1863. And that component of justice delayed, being justice denied, resonates and makes it ever more the important day that it is. And so I look forward to celebrating with you in that memory. Thank you. Supervisor ortiz -Lake? Yes, I too um, look forward to the um, San Luis Obispo Mission event um, on June 17th, and um, and I think there's one in Paso as well uh, coming up, and, and so it's just really nice to have you here and, and accepting the resolution and, and the fact that we're acknowledging that history. Ms. Fines, did you want to add something? Yeah, I did, because I, I said it was two days, and I totally forgot about the second day, but um, on the 19th, which is the the national holiday, we also will be celebrating. Uh, we have Iris Rideau, um, who actually is Iris Duplantera Rideau, who is the first black woman um, to own a winery, will be, I guess, speaker. It will be at the Unitarian Universalist Church. And uh, we're also going to be showing a movie. Um, and it is called just kind of forgot right now, uh, The Rebellious Life of Mrs. Rosa Parks. And um, so you all know about Rosa Parks. You think she was just a quiet woman who, you know, sat on a bus and refused to, to get up. But she was right there with Martin Luther King. She was an activist. And so we will be um, showing her movie as well. And so that's from 2 to 6 at the Unitarian Universalist Church on Monday, June 19th. Thank you. Supervisor? Yeah. I just want to thank Cheryl for everything you do every, all through the year, not just June, June um, 10th, but all through the year to, to bring um, information to, to all of us here in the county. Thank you. Supervisor Paulding. I'm just proud to be a board member, able to proclaim uh, uh, June as Juneteenth, this particular day, and then wanted to thank you for an awesome lineup for the uh, days that you have planned. That sounds great. So look forward to being there. Thanks so much. And I, too, want to thank you, Ms. Vines, for being here today, and thank you for this. Um, I will not be there because I will be in Paso Robles at the Paso Robles Juneteenth, which is at 1 o'clock on Saturday at City Park um, on the 17th. So, But I, I wish you all the best. Thank you for all that you do for the community. I know it's difficult sometimes to do it, but you do it with grace, and we really appreciate your uh, efforts in our community. So thank you. All right. We'll give